63% of organizations use Gen AI to enhance their software application development lifecycle. This is mainly due to two thirds of application developer time being taken up by overhead tasks that are not related directly to software development, meaning they don't really give the business anything in terms of differentiation to the competition. So when we look at what these organizations use Gen AI for mainly, uh, we find a list of the tasks that take the most time, that they feel are the most repetitive and are the most tedious for them to complete. And uh, let me just mention the top three. Number one is testing and QA. So everything that has to do with unit testing, integration testing, all the different tests that you need to run before your many, many releases. Number two is integration with the rest of the environment, with other applications. And that becomes, of course, more demanding the more we go to microservices and the more we basically split up our application into distributed individual components. And number three is security. So we need to shift security left so that we have it applied, basically policy-driven security throughout the software development lifecycle. Our study is called Tracking the Impact of Generative AI on Application Development. And the reason for this study was or is that we want to look in how far organizations already benefit from all the advantages that Gen AI at least allegedly brings to them and uh, where they are in terms of adoption, what they think uh, subjectively about their progress with Gen AI, and of course, what their priorities are for the near and a little bit further future. So we've asked 325 companies in North America uh, that are part of mid-market and enterprise, uh, enterprise size, and uh, we got a lot of quite interesting answers about the status quo of Gen AI use in application development. 89% of users of organizations believe that Gen AI has already led to faster code creation. That means they've gotten something out of Gen AI. So to at least a degree, the promise of Gen AI has been fulfilled. And uh, what this also means is they're creating better applications, more applications that can release more frequently with the same number of application developers. We also found that 63% of organizations feel that they are missing the set of skills and expertise that is needed to go deeper, to take the next step in terms of benefiting from Gen AI. So the low hanging fruit are basically taken. Now they want to go a little bit deeper. So in the next step, organizations plan to address the most laborsome activities that are part of the developer's daily life. And 43% are focusing their Gen AI efforts on simplifying and automating testing and QA. Another 43% are focusing on debugging, which is very closely related, obviously, to testing and QA. And then we have 40% that are focused on flexibility for the developer, so that the developer is basically able to easier try new things, easier to uh, experiment, easier to integrate with, with new technologies. So that is 40%. So those are the top three. And this research report is so useful because it shows what organizations are currently working on to get their developers more productive. You can use it as a checklist that shows you all of the areas that you may be missing out on and that you might be able to apply Gen AI to, to actually get your developers to be more happy and to create more higher quality code faster. There are still lots of problems left unsolved that make developers less productive. And it is all about finding those tasks and applying Gen AI driven automation to them to eliminate the toiling and to make them as happy and as productive as possible. And there's a new discipline, and this is probably the hottest discipline 
that is currently around and that's called platform engineering and platform engineering is all about making it easier for developers to be productive, providing them with all the self-service, all of the automation to be productive. And it will be interesting to evaluate and to experiment with in how far platform engineering can help enabling developers to themselves take advantage of Gen AI to add to their own applications. Mm -hmm.